Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing our 2000 subscriber special, uh, a Pollock style painting. Now today we're going to be using the colors that I absolutely love, my favorite set of colors, which is silver and gold, black and white, and gray. This is kind of a medium gray. Uh, the tools that we'll be using for our Pollock style painting, uh, we're going to be just simply using the paint sticks that we use for the gloss enamel and the metallics, uh, the metallics, sorry. Uh, but we're also going to be using some uh, dried paint brushes for thicker lines and stuff like that. Uh, essentially what we're going to do today is we're going to actually paint our background black and then we're going to put the other colors on top. So it's going to be kind of a monochrome slash uh, metallic modern Pollock style painting. Um, and that's pretty much it. I already have my paint stirred here. Um, we've got our three gloss enamels and then these two metallics, which you can get at Home Depot because they are PPG metallics because I get asked a lot. So we've got gloss enamel paint, we've got our metallics, and that's pretty much it. I've already got it mixed up. So we'll actually head over to the canvas and I've got the canvas lying out on the ground. I'll actually show you guys real quick. So there it is, I have it lying out. So I'm gonna move the camera over to it and uh, and then we will just get right into the painting. So let's, uh, let's head over to the canvas and get started.
Okay, so that's it for the painting. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. And we'll talk about it. So this is the final piece. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a snapshot of it. All right, so we've got it here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Got a lot of dispersion, so I like it. Um, I, I do really like the colors on this piece. And you can see that there's a lot of lines. I'm really happy with, uh, you know, the thin lines we've got are kind of splotches. And the only thing I don't like is right here. You can see that it's kind of wavy um, in this area right here. That's because the two reasons, one, the canvas isn't exactly flat. Uh, the canvas kind of, there's a, it was a little warped. So it's a little bit raised in some of these areas. Um, also, I'm doing it under my driveway. The driveway is slanted. So it's pulling the paint this way on a flat surface um, where this canvas was stretched out evenly. This would be a little bit better, um, but overall not too bad. I, I'm actually pretty happy with the final piece. I do like the way that it turned out. These, these colors are always kind of my favorite colors. So this really is uh, kind of an ideal piece. So without the uh, the fact that it you know moved a little bit with some of the paint running a little bit here and here and you can see that because I didn't wait for the layers to dry I just kind of added the layers on top of each other um, you know you've got some pooling here and here right over here so if you don't want the pooling you just let the layers dry if you kind of want that effect um, then you would just continue to put the paint on while it's still wet it's totally your call maybe experiment with it also it's a little warmer out today so some of it has already congealed a little bit because it is warmer so if you live in a warmer climate you're going to see uh, those layers dry faster especially using water-based paint like I do. Uh, if you use oils-based paint, it's going to take a lot longer. Uh, but ultimately, I'm very happy with it. It looks pretty cool, and I do think it is sellable for sure. So uh, overall, kind of a win, and very happy with it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, and see you then. Bye, guys.